This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Ying.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hey, everybody. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um two offerings it's actually one offering in two different forms uh the idea of compassion and so this the teachings from this come from the book that i have the four passages of the heart and also the course called the compassion project so um i've been talking a little bit lately about the channeling that i've done some of you receive the divine astrology monthly channeling already in the annual forecast, which you can get on the website for free at sarahwiseman.com. But the it's been a really interesting journey. So I began by my first channeling of spiritual teachings was the 33 lessons. And that took a while to channel. It was kind of new to channeling. I believe that was in the 2000s. Um, and when I received 33 lessons, and when the 33 lesson was received, there wasn't any more. I would sit in my normal channeling space, ready to go. And it was like nothing, nothing happened. So it was a long time. It was multiple years, I think four years before the next channeling came. And in fact, when I finished the 33 lessons, I just you know, cried and cried, like I wanted that connection, I wanted to receive more, and it just stopped. So when the next teaching came, I was super excited and, and grateful. And what the four passages of the heart are all about is how we can open our heart, which is where the soul resides. The heart is where the soul resides. And there are these four progressive openings of the heart, of the soul, in terms of our understanding and our emotional makeup, and how we move through these. And so the four hearts, starting with the heart of pain, which is whenever we're suffering, that's the heart we're in, the heart of pain. And then we crack open to, into that. You know, we think... We think our heart is so armored up when we're in heart of pain, we're just tightly clenched. And we think if we let go, we're going to feel more pain. But as a matter of fact, when we're in heart of pain, which is this first stage, we're already suffering to open doesn't cause more suffering. It actually brings great release, great relief, great comfort and great healing. And it's the first step. And then the second, the second heart opening or the second heart passage is the heart of compassion. And this is where we open up and we suddenly look around from our own pain. And I know that you guys listening have experienced a lot of pain and I have experienced a lot of pain in all of us, regardless of where we find ourselves in the world or what we've been through, um, the suffering is there. We're suffering differently, but we're all suffering until we learn to lift into this new stage, heart of compassion. Heart of compassion is about looking around and starting to have compassion for others. Um, where I live near Portland, Oregon, like there's a ton of homeless people as probably there are in wherever you're living. And you start to look with compassion at um, that person or that um, situation and your heart opens for them and then you start to see other people in pain and your heart opens for them and then you start to see the world what a mess right 
and your heart opens and your heart doesn't worry about what political party or all these separations that we have, your just heart just opens for another person, a soul in human form suffering. So your heart opens into compassion for this other, the other. And also as part of this heart of compassion, your heart opens for yourself. You know, you're a person, you see all the suffering, you feel love towards those people. And you also look at yourself in this human experience and you feel love for yourself. You, love, you feel love for yourself as you are. You don't care, you know, am I skinny? Am I fat? Am I young? Am I old? Did I do this? Do I do that? <laughs> just like all my mistakes and flaws and feelings. Like you're just like, whatever. You have love for yourself. You have compassion for yourself having this experience. And then there's a couple more steps. And, and many of us only get to heart of compassion. That's a beautiful place to be. If you're able to go further, and this is where the reliance on um, connecting to the etheric realms, going into meditation, working with your guides, working with beings and dimensions and vibrational levels that lift you up further. And again, like we're just lifting up is the same as opening up. And you may be able to lift into heart of connection, which is knowing and understanding oneness. Like you truly inhabit the concept of oneness as your reality. It's a big, you know, <laughs> hashtag spiritual goals, right? I don't know. Uh, we do what we can. Sometimes we have glimpses of oneness. We know it's there, but we can't live there all the time. But heart of compassion, or excuse me, heart of connection, the third stage, we go there. We live from oneness. We live from the true reality of ourself as souls first. We live with our multidimensional selves, connecting to the other forces in the universe. We live as our infinite selves not just past life and future life, but all the lifetimes and all the dimensions we live from that. And then finally, some, a few on the planet are able to go into heart of love. And this is where we understand things at such a level. We're just brimming with love, just blasting out love, not spiritual bypassing, we've actually done pain, compassion for others and self connection. And finally, we get to love all the time, heart of love. This is, this is probably most of us aren't going to get there in this lifetime. It's, it's a highly elevated state, but we can look like, oh, that's where, this is where I'm trying to go in my life. This is where my spiritual path, let's see how far I can get um, let's see how far I can let go of the ego, mind, personality, uh, and work from this other place. Move through pain, move into compassion, move into connection slash oneness, and see where that takes us. So if you're interested in learning more about this, I did want to read to you, let's see. I'm not sure. Um, I'll just... Um, here we go, number 91. There is no sin. There are only mistakes made from your particular vibrational state and your particular consciousness. Those lower in consciousness will make bigger and more disturbing mistakes. Those with higher consciousness will also make mistakes in ways that are just as disturbing to them. Don't expect to be perfect. That isn't why you're here. Let's see another one. Um, 255. The, in this one, there's a 365 teaching, so they're, they're little. When you apply the idea of oneness to all aspects of your life, relationships, health, money, and material things, you begin to shift your dreams. The idea of amassing things loses its luster as the idea of being becomes more important than having. 
And then we are also, I'll, the, the last one I'll read today, uh, 287, when someone dies, we are reminded that this is also our journey. When someone is born, we are reminded of whence we came. Both passages are mysteries. The heart holds their only meaning. The cycle is birth, death, birth, death. Just notice this cycle in your life today in all the ways it shows up. Uh, if you're interested in this, the book, uh, Four Passages of the Heart, the course, same thing, different forms, uh, the Compassion Project, and you'll find those at sarahwiseman.com. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you again next time.